Children from Banavi Primary School on their way to compete at the Gaelic Mod in Golspi. They've practiced hard for several weeks, but now rehearsals are over. They're well and truly on the way. The choir has uh, 22 members, but some have gone ahead by car. The driver of the bus is the headmaster of the school, Mr. McNeil, and he also happens to conduct the choir. But even he can't forecast the result of the journey. But let's have a wee bit of peace and quiet now, all right? Some way to talk to a choir. Unless, of course, you happen to be driver, headmaster and conductor all in one. But uh, let's go back in time to Banavi Primary School a few weeks before. At that time, the choir had just been chosen and they were starting to learn their words for the morning. Look at the song, Ilan Uanyu Fushio. Got that? Listen to this. Fata vuam har a huan. Elan uanya fo hyo. Fata, aprofshin. Fata vuam. Vuam. Har. None of the children is a native Gaelic speaker, so their first task was to learn the Gaelic words and pronunciation of their songs. Skiahanach. Nam Buag Nam Buag Elan Elan Uanya Uanya Nam Bo Nam Bo Elan It's not just a matter of memorizing the words. The children must understand exactly what the words mean. So Mr. McNeil makes a point of speaking in Gaelic as well as English during rehearsals. Aprofshin. Aprofshin, say that. What is an chilan skiahanach? The green island under the west. Yes, it is, but what island is it? Taramad. Uh, the island of Sky. And Ilan Uanya, as Fiona said, is? The, the green island. The green island. Ilan Uanya Fuhyo. What does Fuhyo mean? Fiona? Under the mist. Under the mist. Clever. Now this afternoon we're going to learn the tune and first of all we'll listen to it once. Next, the choir began learning the music of the songs, and this was the job of Miss Smith, a visiting music teacher. This kind of note, Debbie. Ta. Ta. And the one with a hole in its head, Alice. Ta. -a. Ta. -a. And this one with a dot. Ta. -a. Ta. -a, a. Now you know those quite well, and I think that you can sing it straight away. So, look at the board and stand up. Now, after a few rehearsals, the tune was beginning to take shape also. Today, we're going to put the words and the tune together. First of all, let's just remind ourselves of the words. We'll take the first line. Fata vuam har a huan. Fata vuam har a huan. 
Spanish. Fata. Watch the t sound there. Fata. Upper chin. Fata. Well, it's obvious that a lot of hard work goes into the choir's preparation. Words and music are rehearsed time and time again, but it's the only way to get a worthwhile result. Clever. Now, Miss Smith, if we can hear the first line again, please. Don't forget, this is only the start of rehearsals. So far, the choir has just been learning words and music and uh, finding out how they fit together. Next comes the really hard work, shaping and polishing the songs till they sound just right. Watch the word show. Show. Okay, boys, we're going to start our training practice. Now, hands up, those of you who uh, started the, the clicking and blocking last week. Hands up. Put your hands up now. If you were here last week and you started clicking and blocking. David. One, David. two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I want you six. Now, don't Shinti move, yeah. has a long six. tradition in Lochaber. And the boys at Benavie School are encouraged to learn it along with football and other sports. Their coach, Mr. McCaskill, plays shinty for a nearby senior team. Robert and Keith, you go over a bit. Go over a bit. That's the stuff, lads. OK, then. We're going to start our, our clicking. Now, you know what you did last week? We want the same again. So you take your measurement first, Robert, so that it's safe for you. OK? Now, come back a wee bit. Now, Robert... You say go, so that Keith doesn't hurt you. When he says go, Keith, you lift your stick from there up to there. Remember? Right. You're in control. Go. That's all right. That's good. But you're just you're just that wee bit quick. You see, what you're doing wrong is you're saying go, and you're halfway there. All right. You say go, and then get the stick in. Allow him to get the stick up. Touch him. On you go. Go. That's good, that's good. Come back out into position again. That was good, boys. Now touch him again. Keep a firm grip of your stick, Robert. Keep a firm grip of your stick so that you don't lose it. All right? Push, push, push all the time. Run behind them, that's a boy. On you come. Keep it running, Paul. Push, push, push all. Keep your hand down on the stick. Come on, on you go, John. Right away, as soon as he starts moving around that second peg. Come on, Norman. Koshy, Chris Austin. Every Sassenloch knows that Shinti is a fast game, and a hard one too. But it also demands a lot of skill, of course, and the boys spend a lot of time just practicing stick control. The villages of Benevi and Korpach have grown much larger in recent years because a pulp mill and an aluminium factory were built nearby. Both attracted newcomers to the area, so now the local population comes from all over the country. Just across Loch Linny is Fort William, now a busy tourist centre in summer. And always in the background is the great mass of Ben Nevis. Not far away, the western end of the Caledonian Canal flows into Loch Linny, and the canal locks climb down from the high ground by way of Neptune's staircase. Always an interesting place in summer. So that's the countryside where the children live a place surrounded by mountains, loch and sky. 